My daughter Audie had cancer in her lifetime. Um, in 2007, she was diagnosed with melanoma cancer. Uh, they discovered it as a mole on her neck. Um, the school nurse there in, at Fort Hays State suggested that she go and see a dermatologist, and she did. It was definitely melanoma. Um, they did other tests. Uh, proved to be already stage four. My sister Audie, I know when it happened, when she did get checked, she had known that mole had been bad for about over a year. So the biggest thing, she just kicked herself of never going to the dermatologist. I know a lot of times, you know, somebody will get cancer or sick and you kind of won't distance yourself because you don't want to see them like that. But I mean, you just, you want to be the same around them, talk to them, treat them like you always would. And, and you know, hope for the best, hope, hope they beat it, but you just, you have to be there for them. And in 2009, um, several treatments, but just no cure. Uh, we lost her in February of 2010, and end of the story. Good kid, though. <laughs> she was a fighter. Audie, she was, she's the one you wanted to be around all the time. She's fun, energetic, outgoing, um, very positive. Um, I think one time maybe at Tumbleweed, we saw somebody and she whispered to me, I don't like that person. <laughs> and that's about the meanest thing she ever said to anybody. But what really amazed me about Audie is through the whole thing, her, her attitude never really changed. She was super positive, um, it didn't get negative, didn't dwell on it. Um, just kept fighting, you know, she beat cancer the once and then it came back and um, she was just kind of an inspiration that all she was going through, you wouldn't really know it when you talk to her because she was upbeat and kind of just continued on because that's who she was. And I tell everyone that loses somebody to cancer, just you just keep those pictures everywhere. And the plus side was Audie loved her picture taken, so there's a lot of pictures of Audie. Uh, the second thing was, I was lost, of course, not having to go travel and be with her. There was a, there was a time span that I'm going, okay, now what do I do? My friend Matt shows up and he says, hey, they're not doing the night golf. Um, why don't we grab it? Why don't we do a fundraiser and get a scholarship going for Audie? We wanted to do something for Luann, obviously. Um, so the first chance we did, we did that, and then also wanted to do something for Audie. Give everybody a chance, classmates, friends, get together, talk about her, um, reminisce about the good old days. And then, uh, you know, there was also the skin cancer side of it, you know, raising awareness to that, getting people to get checked, and then uh, also just getting people together. You know, as a community, we, the money is all donated from the community. It's all, we keep all the money that comes in. It's $100 a team. And then we do a cornhole tournament. We keep all that. And then we hand out prizes to whoever wins. And then everybody takes something home. And that's kind of how we entice people to come. But it's, it's the community's been awful great to us. Just to represent um, my sister Audie here in the community and you guys bring it out here, I was very excited about that. So make sure you're doing those prevention measures for your family and stuff like that. And the, besides the prevention, the biggest thing is like the mental and the emotional part, because that'll creep up on you. So um, if you need a support group or if you need like counseling or any of that stuff, because I know it's like the aftermath when you do lose someone and then the world keeps moving, that's when it's gonna hurt. So my biggest thing is don't be afraid of counseling or any of that stuff. And the biggest thing is our families become the biggest unit I've ever seen since all we've been through.